Hi, everybody. On this episode of NSFW, we're live from the Weird Things TV studio in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Look, there's Brian. And there's Timmy, and there's Brian, and there's Josh from Film Riot. And we're all here to go over your movie guilty pleasures, where we decide tribunal style. Whether you are given absolution or damnation, it's all coming up on this edition of NSFW. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW, episode 37 for Tuesday, August 17th, 2010. The Tribunal of Guilty Pleasure. This episode of NSFW Show brought to you by Carbonite.com. Head on over to Carbonite.com and use promo code NSFW to get a discount and keep us in business. Steve called me up and said, want to hang out tonight. We could see an indie film or just grab a bite. I said, oh, Steve, you're cute, but a movie's not what I need. No offense, but I'd rather stay. like that it is go time for nsfw the new show full of wind the news floss sauce for the webinets <laughs> i'm your host brian brushwood joined as always by inimitable co-host mr justin robert young who i'm actually looking at in person for like the first time ever that we've i can done. see you I you're over my you. computer you're not like a robo virtual jumbie you boy, walked into my off. house and now you're here <laughs> and that's not all we're joined by the entire crew of film riot josh connolly ryan connolly and of course timmy allen right here say hello to america just yeah. America. <laughs> all right so first uh, first order of business i guess we should we wrap up the the film contest that we had since we're all here right now just real quick can we just declare me the winner for all the time <sighs> i mean i don't know i mean like if you want to do it with, with it's such so so ignoble a crowning yeah uh right. yeah you can all right so we had uh the fantasy summer movie league uh we all drafted movies and i mocked 
Brian selections because I thought they were stupid and Heavily I thought they were dumb. Heavily and repeatedly for months uh, at a time. You got Greg Grunberg. You sat. You turned Greg Grunberg against me and got him to mock me while he's driving us to the to the to from the, the to Kings the game. game. Yeah. yeah, from the LA Kings game. I had uh, television but and movie who, superstar Greg Grunberg. Who emerged victorious? Buddy? Yeah. Who All right. So, so there top. we go. Little movie called Inception. The little movie that could that nobody believed in that I bought for sixteen bribes. That's all I'm trying to say. Right, there we go. Oh, that's for you. Second and third. Oh, second was uh, no, I, I think at this moment you're still, still you. second. But don't second. you still have you still have one more movie? Are you at the rest no, of the No, no, no. He had, he had, he had, he had the matter. other guys and Scott, Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim, yeah. 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 And so the other guys did okay. Scott Pilgrim took a gigantic dump. Pooping. So right. yeah, and uh, just 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 for my own edification, I'm just having a hard time remembering. Maybe you can figure who who came in dead last. I mean, Moving just... on on NSFW <laughs> this week. <laughs> I came in dead last. All right, I had I had the surefire solution of I I, I had a, a real real diversified portfolio yeah. of Iron Man oh, and crap. other stuff and, yeah. and total uh, junk, the yeah. overpriced junk. By the way, what I love is there are a lot of people who are discovering NSF show right now. They're going back and watching all the old episodes. I highly recommend for those of you at home to go back and listen to Justin's confidence in the beginning of the game in the first three or four weeks and just listen week after week and it can sort of just kind of chips on down and it gets a little bit quieter. Not about, even not even the... Predator's Fever. That was, that was the best. That yeah. was the absolute not best even... was watching you tweet consistently every, every, every day. single day <laughs> about predators yeah you got to admire the gumption on that where justice says well my problem is i need predators to be an unprecedented mega hit well what i'm going to do is i'm going to step outside to this street corner and shout as loud as i can <laughs> that everybody should go see predators i i, I I'm, I'm pretty sure i did more press for predators than adrian <laughs> <Brady. laughs> you were like i was i was on i was on regis and kelly <laughs> oh well, you know regis it's predators fever after all uh, <laughs> it's almost like you and think about it this way. You were 100% of the campaign. Their entire viral campaign was all you, Justin Robert Young. Yes. Yeah. That's good. No, that definitely happened. And it also still just made like 25 million. By the way, for yeah. those of you guys who wanted to play along at home, oh, yeah, next week we'll actually officially crown the winner of, from the chat room. Because remember, everyone in the chat room played along as well. Indeed, and yeah. So, so we, 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 do, we do have to wait until the end of the game technically to crown the chat room winner. Because there's a lot of people in the chat room who picked way better teams than any of us did. Exactly. Uh, but uh, for all intents and purposes, all precincts are closed. Uh, for for anything that matters, that's uh, right. People that's who right. Have a shot at it, and Brian on the back of really Inception and uh, Inception went and believe it or not, like it, mine was a campaign of base hits where it's like Salt made a hundred million dollars, uh, Robin Hood made a hundred million dollars. Uh, the uh, uh, Sex of the City 2 made $100 million, Prince of Persia made $100 million, and all of them, I spent like less than $16 on all of those. And so while, while, while Iron Man went for 50 bucks, I got a bunch of little base hits, and that's how I won. Nobody cares. Um, <laughs> we're all just bitter, and we don't want to hear about it. Yeah. Right, look, let's move on. Let's uh, move yeah, on. Yeah. Uh, by the way, just uh, so everybody knows, we are working on the sequel to this game, which is going to be the television summer uh, or a fall movie or fall league. you know what we should call it the television summer movie league we should call it yeah because yeah. <laughs> it's the same game we yes. just done with well, television we're, we're starting fall. yeah we're starting the new uh summer tv marble mouth must face <laughs> uh blah 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 i can't talk on the mic uh no so we're, we have uh, the same kind of concept except it's going to be for tv shows so you'll be able to draft any show on television and we are working with the genius brilliant uh, uh web developer and database specialist dan dirks so everyone's going to be able to set up their own league so you will not have to play with us and go with the market value prices that we said right. you can play against your friends you can, and you can trade around. and all this other stuff you it's going to be amazing yeah. working it out but here's the important thing let's get right down to business well you know what i like doing more than anything in the entire world justin uh, well, Brian, this is so much more awkward when we're not over Skype and we're actually <laughs> talking and we're doing the radio stick. Uh, Brian, I love making social sites that rely on the volunteer efforts of others worthless by slamming all of our viewers into it and completely skewing the results for our people. What I like to do, or what I like to call it, is operating our wetware-based botnets and putting them to work in order to make <laughs> mega stars out of previous unknowns. Yes, yes, and as uh, I'll, I'll tell you this. Our fans, number one, I mean, they're the best ever, but it, not a day goes by that they, like a dog bringing a dead bird, 
to our feet. <laughs> Don't just bring us like some like, hey, some idiot turned on his webcam three years ago, and I just found it. <laughs> This time we did our homework, because you remember the last time we made a megastar, it turned out after the fact that it cheated, obviously didn't want that out there. Like, it was by accident, right? No, no, no. Well, yeah, I mean, there's no way that we could know, and we bought her an iPod, and we tried to get her on Ellen, and, and you know, we, we really tried to do our best for Melissa with the whole Lady Gaga uh, yeah, Battle Dance video. But we found one. We are 98% sure <laughs> that he wants these things out here. And yeah. this is not this is not the same thing. This is not like, uh, yeah, it's super kind of bad or awkward like, like Melissa's video was. This is a guy who genuinely has a very, very clear idea about what he wants to do and really technically is not bad. No, no, he's actually very good at it. Yeah. Here's the thing, real quick, we're gonna need one person to create an official dig for this. Yeah. And, uh, and we'll actually, we'll elect it, we'll pick the one, and, we'll, and that's where we'll, 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 we'll just We'll just see one in the chat room. The first one we see, we'll right. nominate it. And at that point, everybody flock to that one. You're going to dig this thing up, and it's going to be on the front page by the end of the show. Right, want to know why? Because we want it to, and you do too. <laughs> <laughs> we like to flex muscle we don't deserve to control. By the way, uh, yeah, no, it's already up there. Oh, it's somebody, okay, somebody already has a dig up there. Okay, well, good. Oh, wait, no, don't start. Okay, this is the guy who discovered it. I'm glad it's the right one. Espen, longtime viewer of the show, actually called me Wednesday, like after Tuesday night, after a fantastic show with Sarah Lane. Espen calls me up, and, he, and he's like, literally calls me from Norway. He's like, Brian, you will not believe this video I have found. It has only 3,000 <laughs> digs or, or 3,000 views. Uh, that's my that's my Norwegian accent, by the way. That's what yeah, Espen sounds like. That's really, really good. Good. No, yeah, thank you. No, I'm glad. That's, <laughs> I, I would. I thought somebody had just broken in <laughs> from Nor Norwegia. <laughs> from Norwegia. <laughs> but here's the important thing: it only had 3,000 views, and we sat on it for six full days, and it still only has less than 25,000 views. This thing is viral gold in the making. We're gonna explode it, and this kid's gonna be famous. And most importantly, we want him to make up lyrics for our song. Why don't we go ahead and let it speak for itself? Let's roll the video, Jammer B. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Star Trek The Next Generation with Lance. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To boldly go where no one has gone before. Star Trek The Next Generation We're trekking across the universe. Jean-Luc, Picard, Data Wharf, and Troy, Dr. Crusher, Jordi LaForge, Star Trek The Next Generation, we're trying to see who gets there first. Jean-Luc, Picard, Data Wharf, and Troy, Dr. Crusher, Jordi LaForge, right now. There's a go with a big tin can. Give me warp five fast as you can. Star Trek the next generation and CC 1701. 101. <laughs> yes! Yes! There we go! You have no idea how much we love this guy. Oh, this guy no. is awesome. He's, he's actually my best friend, and I've never met him. I do want to clear up a few rumors that are just floating around. No, this is not a time-traveled Leo Laporte in his younger days. Uh, as far as we know, uh, his baritone is sweet and, and is, is, is pure of intention. That's the thing. Let me tell you, this guy, he can actually sing, and darned if those lyrics weren't, weren't completely accurate. <laughs> no, hey! They were, they were indeed the entire no one, story of no the No one can deny <laughs> Star Trek The Next Generation! <laughs> we're checking across the universe. <laughs> all right, so uh, yeah, all right. People say, oh, it's not funny to make fun of our words that I'm not going to say on, on the podcast. This guy is, he is a legitimate singer who's a fan of Star Trek, who wanted to sing it on his webcam and get it out there. And we're going to help him do it. 
Everybody, I want you to go ahead. You can see in the chat room, uh, dig.com slash odd underscore stuff slash star underscore trek underscore with underscore lyrics. Head there right now. Dig this up to as the always, moon, Alice. As always, remember that we are a stealth operation. You yes. can be as subtle as you possibly can with your inside references, but we do not want to see any overt acknowledgement of where this came from no. or who are the stealth assassins that are pushing this to the forefront of the world. Exactly. We are a shadow army who exists in nighttime. You want it? Yeah, yeah. You want it? It's already at 72 digs. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so. Let me tell you, this thing's going to be on the front page within within easily uh, 30 minutes. And by the end of the show, yeah. we're going to be... And by the way, we found out just as this started... Uh, that apparently it had been on uh, some little crack some jack rinky horse dink and pony show called Extended Attack, Cable Network. Yeah, a Attack of the something. Uh, you know, do they get into the front page of Dig? Hey, hey, look, look, they don't got no, they don't got no demon hordes of the internet to control. Yeah. Come on, how about, man. How about, how about, how about, how about well, why don't we, why don't we do a little race? Well, how about we, we race for pinks, AOTS. Hey, you know, uh, you guys, if you like this show better than Attack of the Show. Get it on the front page of Dig and let them know that you saw it here on NSFW. You know what? Actually, Twitter don't network. everybody say that. In fact, one person say it. Everyone dig that comment dig right it up. up to the top. Yeah, all right. Only so one, one person, person mentions said. NSFW show and everyone else dig it up to the top. You guys know the rules. You know how to make it happen. We'll check back in on it later on. Look, I'm ready to play some games. I'm ready to stomp these losers. Heck yeah, Bri. All right, here's the deal. We're going to play a little game that we played before on this show. Name that autocomplete. We actually have like people here. Yes, we should yes. do like an intro. Oh, like, yeah. We absolutely. should all go like, you know, three, two, one. Name yeah. that, that autocomplete. Auto you know, perfect, guys. You that guys were great. I was right I on top. I thought I had to go faster with it. No. involved, but he got too excited and just went off on his own thing. Well, what's funny is I'm listening. I'm like, do an intro. What do you mean? And then he's looking at me with these pleading eyes like, come on, Brian, go along with this. Go along with this. And and I'm of like, course. Oh, <laughs> Here's the deal. Uh, we had the Summer Movie League come to an end tonight. Of course, Film Riot, of course, or Vision 3, which I just realized. Took a giant dump of time. loserness. That's Whatever. what you guys did. All I your should, team I should did I'm still represent. second place. I'm just saying. Okay. 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 You, wait, hold on. Are you really talking jive now? I am. <laughs> I'm going to take him down another time. It's Team NSFW versus Team Oh, Film okay. Riot okay. Again. Yeah, I'm representing. But go Technically. No. Us and then last place and first place. You gotta average it you know, out. Plus, average out. Oh, we man, technically won. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. True. And I got the top grossing movie, so I should get something for that. All right. Well, well we've we'll we've yet to see Toy Expendables Story. Fever really That's catch on point. and make up the two hundred million dollars. I mean, we gotta start the game because we're short on time here. All Let's right. So here's the deal. Uh, we 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 played Damn That Complete before. If you haven't seen it, it's actually your first episode, right? We did with yeah with with Leo and Alex Albrecht. Yep. Uh, so here's the deal. If you go to Google and you type in a name, you will often get a lot of suggested endings to that search query. Yeah, these are all determined by the searches that people are actually making. And in fact, it's often proposed that, you know, we don't lie to Google. So there's some interesting results if you type like, is it, you know, true space, you'll get all kinds of interesting yes, auto or is it afterwards. legal, is it moral? Right. You right. really get some some bizarre, <laughs> yeah. bizarre. Should stuff. I be ashamed of? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah no, absolutely. There, there's yeah. The, let, let's just say the the underbelly of humanity is on full display when you <laughs> type that into Google. Uh, but here we go. We like to. Well, we're going to play a very very special action movie hero edition. Yeah. I'll name yeah. that all. Oh, look at that. I like, I like that joke. In honor of the final hits, the final chance that somebody can make a lot of money at the uh, summer movie league. No, like Brian, it. it's in honor of the Expendables. Go spend $200 million right now with the Expendables <laughs> in theaters right now. <laughs> Expendables fever. Catch Expendables it. fever. You got it. Have you caught it yet? <laughs> I need a new tagline. I can't use the same all right, one. I'm ready. So this is going to be, we're going to go straight to the final round. This is where we bet each other off. You're going to set up a slight Lucy Goosey clue. Yes. And we're going to say how many autocompletes we can name this action star in. And we're just in, just like in a certain other TV show that we're not going to claim any kind of infringement with, we're going to take turns undercutting each other so you get the fewest number of autocompletes. If you fail, the other person has a chance to steal. Listening to what? All the rest of the top ten? All the rest of them. All right. Yeah. And, and now it's the character from the movie or the actual it, actor? No, it is, it is the character from the movie. Okay. Okay? Now... Uh, you guys will each have to nominate one person to do the the bidding. You guys uh, can all you guys can all go ahead and and, and you know mix together. Oh my god! I'm against three boss. brains. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh. <laughs> 
No, all right. No, but Brian, if, but if you win, bad news. This is an epic. It is an, an, an yeah. epic poem. This that is, would be uh, right. Uh, that would be I, a, this, there's a no spit way. in the I'm, face. Oh, film Ryan. I've got nothing. Indeed. By the way, for the folks at home, I promise that that on on. All the honor, what little of it we have for NSFW, we have not set up anything up in advance. You've not given me any clues or no. hints as to what's going to happen. So this all rests on my shoulders. And my guess is Justin Robert Young, not going to be too kind to me if I are to screw this up. No. I'm just going to put that out. No, I won't. Because if we there's, lose, there's... I abuse Josh on the next episode. Yeah, hello. <laughs> so, oh, that's right. Hey, yeah. God, do well. Always I'm just reason. saying, do well. Abusing me. <laughs> hey, talking about abuse, can we hint any of the things that are coming up in the future episode of Film Riot? Sure. Can, uh, can, can we can we do it not in the middle of a bit? I'm just can saying. Can we maybe like pass <laughs> the bit stuff? Right, no, like, no, 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 like mommy and daddy. All right, go ahead, go ahead. Let's. I'm ready. All right, here we go, time. ladies and gentlemen. This is name that out to complete the first action hero. I'm only gonna give you one word. Classic. Classic. Classy. Classy. I got it. Classy. Uh, there is. are six autocompletes. Uh, I'll name it in six. Easy. Four. I'll name it. And and I get all six if he can't name it in four? Yeah. I'll name it in three. So, wait, he's in, and so he's the only one who can... Well, you guys can talk among yourselves, but he's yeah, actually bidding no, no, on it. No, 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 no. I think, I think, no, I think he should be the only one who guesses. Okay. I think... The same thing. You're I'm thinking it. Yeah. What's it going to be? Should we go two? Just do it. Go two. Go two. I can find two. Oh, my God. All right, name that autocompletes. Your two autocompletes are... Theme... And gun. James Bond. I should have had this sound clip ready earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, we got a ride on. There I we totally go. Knew. Worst clue ever. The okay, further. Yeah. yeah you right. want to know what? I, I'm not even gonna give clues. Oh, because these are really right. easy. I know. If I give, if, if I steer you like, in the right direction, <laughs> like it's like like all the clues. If it were anything else, it would. They would all just be like. Action hero. <laughs> so all your clues are action hero. <laughs> You're like, yeah, defeated the predator. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Okay, all right, I'm ready again. Let's all right, so here we go. So no clues now? We no just clues. Say what we're no clues. In. There no are clues. Oh, uh, seven. Seven autocompletes in this next one. I can name it in seven. Six. <laughs> Five. Four. Name that autocomplete. Oh. Uh, okay. All right. Yes. Your four clues are? Yes. Five. Yes. Games. Yes. Font. Yes. Hat. <laughs> yes! Yes! Font? <laughs> font. Five games, font, hat. Five. Uh, slightly used in the chat room, uh, posits Winston Churchill, which I can say is not true. So why you gotta give it up? He's the ultimate action hero. <laughs> so Font is named after him. Yeah. V for victory, bitch. V for Font. <laughs> Dude, would it be the, uh, the V for Vendetta? Five games. Again, your clues font. are five games, font, and hat. Let me also say these are not bad clues. These are not nonsense. Okay, of course they're not. Whatever. Would it be V for Vendetta or no? No, I don't think so. Action I would like to hero. Point out that V is Roman numeral for five. Which is just gonna I'm, put I'm that. I'm gonna up. go for V for Vendetta. That's that's. Well, oh, that's idea. not his name though. That's the Wait, movie. Yeah, you looked awfully close to googling oh, I'm something. Sorry. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> He's busted out your iPhone. Nope. Like, <laughs> his no. His name is V. Okay, so V, right? I I, I will tell you that it, it was it was just the number five. It was not the Roman numeral five that I'm reading as. Yeah, no. Yeah. It, it, it is not V, which I just took the poetic license hey, to say. Hey, they just made fine. a final decision. What Did are you they? doing here, Coach? Oh, no, no, I didn't know that. I didn't take back Z. Flying Brushwood. Ah, just hurry up and Wood. Think. Yeah, wait, hold on, wait. Does does the main character, Beaver Vendetta, have a name? Its, it's name is v. Unnamed. V. Okay, look, v? Yeah. this right here, you might as well just said, hey, fellas, why not? Why don't you not choose V? Because I'm <laughs> asking. All right, we would have chosen We actually got like a 30-minute discussion about that. fair. We would have chose V. Yeah, you know what, Dag? Uh, take another guess. Take another okay. guess. I don't want to. I don't want to win it on a technicality. Uh, five. What is it? Five. Okay. Five. Yes. Games. Yes. Font. Uh huh. Hat. Hat doesn't help me. <laughs> well, it's some kind of a hat. Blank. Hat. Zorro. I don't know. <laughs> no. Because uh, they also named a font after this. Well, it's not necessarily that they... No! It is! <laughs> they did. They made a time limit here, Justin. How long are we going to... Yeah, yeah. Are you calling it? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm calling it. So what do you have it in? It seven? is, uh... 
Joe Helvetica. <laughs> Action hero extraordinary. Hey, can no, I can I go can I go all the way here and actually name it without getting the rest of those? Uh you can uh, Well, I mean, I'll tell you, Bry, you can. But if you get it wrong. Should you get it wrong, you will feel like a real idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't discourage him, Brian. Right, you can say, do this. Let me just put it out. Let's see. The clues again, we got five. Right? Five. Okay. So it's it's some some hero who's got a fifth movie. All right. Go on. Oh. Uh, games. Games? Uh, I don't know. Everyone's got games. Go on. Font. Font. So it's someone who has a distinctive font. Right. Indeed. And hat. And hat. So an action, action star who wears oh. a hat and has a font that's distinctive and has a fifth movie coming out. You know what, Justin? I'm going to have to go with Indiana Jones. Yes, Ron. Hey! There we go. Ron's wow. back in the game. Oh, Fit it off of the hat. There you go. Back I'm the, following, uh, the following the following clues were Lego, the and the Last Crusade, and and the Temple of Doom. Oh. Oh. If I had gotten all of those, obviously there'd be no oh, points. So I'm yeah, glad yeah. I took the chance. No, that was oh. epic. That was, that was, was epic. That was good. Right. That was very Indiana Jones of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I get. I, I take off my hat. This is all really a hat. This ridiculous hairstyle. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a weapon. That's well. Oh, you know what? That's you. Can you not tease film right? I'm just saying. Come on. All right. All right. Here we go. By the way, uh, 213 <laughs> digs. Keep digging. Keep digging. Keep digging. Uh, here is the next one. I will give a hint. Under pressure. Boom, boom, Wait, boom. Under pressure. Pressure. Well, I know, but this one's harder. Okay. This, I, I saved this one for last. The tiebreaker of this game oh my for gosh. a reason. Uh, oh my God. Under pressure. All right. There are this one, two, three, four, five, six, eight autocompletes. I can name it in eight. I can name it in seven. I can, I can name it in six. Do we want to try to name it in five? No, let him do it. Let him do, do it. it. Let him do it. But that's six. No, you know what? You're right. No, we yeah, the Indiana Jones one. He would have done. Can you do it in five? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm going ahead right now and uh, saying that it is not either David Bowie or Freddie Mercury. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> I think we can name it in five. Do it. Because we give it to him in six, he's gonna get it. Okay. Okay. Five. All right. Five. Name All right. that autocomplete. Your clues are. And by the way, we'd have the same strategy three times. <laughs> It worked the first time. Yeah. Facts. Music. Oh, God. Tattoo. Never mind. Action figure versus Jack Bauer. Oh, my gosh. Is it Chuck Norris? Wait. What is it again? Oh, yeah. And remember, this is the character oh, yeah. from... Architecture. Oh, it's the character. It's the character. Okay, it, give it again. And and these are action movie heroes. Remember this is movie heroes. Right. Yes, action Not movie heroes. Movie. Texas ahead. Ranger. Uh, facts, music, tattoo, action figure, verse Jack Bauer. Keep in mind, tattoo may refer to the short guy on Fantasy Island. I'm just gonna throw that out there. <laughs> New plane. Uh, and, and and that was a, a, a figure. People are, people people are asking me what a accusing people are asking me what a yeah what a f i g g e r is. Hey, listen, dude, that's their word. That is that is my that is my derogatory that is my derogatory slur for the Keebler elves. So it was Chuck Norris would have to be a specific Chuck Norris character. I was gonna say if if it was a Chuck Norris character, you would have to name the character from the movie. So in what movie did Chuck Norris fight Jack Bauer? Oh, and whatever the movie is, can I pick it in yeah, next year's yeah, Fantasy yeah. Summer Movie Link? Holy crap. Facts. Tattoo. Where's the Jack Bauer? What was the other ones? Facts, music, Jack tattoo, Bauer. action, figure versus Jack <laughs> figure. Bauer. It's just as bad. And under pressure. And let me just say that the next one down, like, is probably the first real... <clears throat> You could sniff it out. Oh, so in other words, what, are you taking this opportunity to say, let me just say, you really shouldn't have gone for five. Yeah. You should have gone for no, one no, more. No, 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 because if you left him on six, he like, he, he would have had a yeah. shot. He would have had a shot. So really, you guys have to dig deep. And it really is a Hail Mary, because I don't know how I would get this one at five. <laughs> all right, dude. What's it going to be, gentlemen? Ugh. I got nothing. Just yeah. think, all right, here. So I, I would say that your general hint of... Somebody under pressure. Oh come on! What, would what probably be the best uh, the best way to go. I'm trying to play the game, Brian. I know you're. 
trying to coach them. I got this thing locked up, and you're trying to ruin it. Do, do you know it? Are you going to do another another uh, another indie? No, but you just said the next clue is going to win it for me. So right. let's let's get it out of the way, gentlemen. <sighs> Under pressure. <laughs> Go on. Give, give the hints one more time. Oh, oh, facts, on. music, tattoo, action, figure versus Jack Bauer. Music? I don't remember Chuck Norris ever putting out a rap album. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he might have. I was thinking Sherlock Holmes because facts and music. Wouldn't be a bad... Although, like, he wasn't really an action hero until the movie. Uh-huh. Uh... -huh. uh... Come on, no, these, these, these are all guys that, like, in, in the top ten of action heroes, you would see them. I see another hint! Another you beautiful hint! Are, come on! Another beautiful hint. All come right, on. all right. From that last one, I'll give you guys ten on the clock. All right, there you go. Ten seconds. Anybody? Holy balls. Uh, Seven seconds. Balls. Walker, Texas Ranger. No, Five that's not seconds. a movie! It's not a movie, it's a character. Four. It's Walker. Three. It's not a movie. Two. two Walker. One. one it's not zero. Ah! Oh, all right, let's hear all the clues. Fire. Fire. Fixed. That's it. <laughs> the clues are facts, music, tattoo, action figure versus Jack Bauer, wife, yippee, and verse Hans Gruber. Oh, I still oh, have no idea. Of course. It's got to be John McClane of the Die Hard series. Oh, what? what? Come on, <laughs> Why is that yes. Jack Bauer? Yes. Because, Guys, I know. Because, hey, listen, I don't, I don't make up these clues. No, I just pulled on it. Google. Jo uh, John McClane took on a whole bunch of terrorists all by himself. That's exactly the kind of stuff. That's a classic argument. I don't TV like your hero brain, Brushwood. This is movie hero. <laughs> okay. who could be Jack Bauer or John McClane. Uh, by the way, I'm on team John McClane. Yeah, for sure. absolutely. Oh, for absolutely. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. oh dude. Uh, he didn't well, have shoes. Welcome to the party, pal. Yeah. yeah. That's right. And he could, he could curse, or at least in the first three movies. Jack Bauer yeah, that's true. has that's never true. skateboarded a, uh, a fighter plane. So. Well, he did, however, tackle a Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, touche. Not sir. quite as manly, though. Touche. Ride a Harrier, tackle a Christmas tree. All right. Uh, is, this, is this true? Does, did this mean that I, against all odds, yeah. three brains against one, I, I acquitted myself well? Uh, Brian, you know what that means? What? That for the second time tonight. What? That got it. No. 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 Kings to you, buddy. Oh, Kings I'm to you. Stand up and clap for Technically, it was almost even because each of us only had like half a brain. Yeah, so well, you're, you only, know what? you're only going off of like one I, extra half. I totally did that oh, math, and I'm still sure that's like one and a half to one. So that's still, you guys <laughs> least, had a 50% advantage. What else? At least. All right. Well, and that moves us in to the main event. Dun, dun, dun. The main event. Is this something we're going to lose that again? No, listen. no, no. no. Now, okay. now, listen, we've all beat oh, each other no up. They, 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 that we sparred with each other. Now, and only now. Can we start passing judgment on other people? Yeah, like that. Say, now, say, yeah. now we sit high atop Mount Olympus <laughs> and just fling our excrement down uh, on the plebeians. Yes. We don't see your mortals. High. We have a saying on an SFW show: "There are no losers. There's only team film riots." It's a little. <laughs> oh, oh, I think I to lose some footage when I get. Oh home. no! no. That's right. Uh, that's <laughs> mean and only itself. kind of now true. You know, never mind. I won't lose the footage. I'll just edit it a bit differently. <laughs> oh, no. This is bad news. <laughs> all right. So let's go. What's our main event here? First of all, I think we all have a lot of shame here on the NSFW show. I'm ashamed of, for example, the NSFW show. <laughs> <laughs> and I think a lot of other people carry unnecessary guilt about some of the programs that they derive a lot of pleasure from, not much like the NSFW show, but more importantly, like movies that you'll catch on HBO late at night and you'll watch them and you'll secretly love them, but you would never admit it out in public. You know what I'm talking about, right, Justin? Of course, of course. You know, we, we, we have movies that, you know, we, we love with all of our heart, but maybe we don't want to come out of the movie closet and tell our friends <laughs> our, our secret shame. You know, maybe they've been critically panned. Whenever you, they get brought up in conversation, your friends just savage them. But nonetheless, the, the secret, we, we are on the down low with these movies. 
and there's no way that we can break our love. So uh, what we did is that everybody email into nsfwshowgmail.com. And by the way, if you want to participate in these bits, make sure you follow me, Justin R. Young, and Brian at Schwood on Twitter. Hang on. Uh, I did just get a late breaking news from the chat room that apparently I missed an email earlier on. And we do have to take a quick break at this moment to talk about one of our all-time favorite sponsors on the NSFW show. Oh, yes! And I'm not... They're, are they back? Yes, of course they're they are. back! They're back! Yeah, no, go ahead. Why don't you tell the nice people about Carbonite? All right. Listen, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> don't you... And you're walking a thin line here. You be... I, I mean, you go ahead. Go ahead. I trust you implicitly. Go ahead. There's a lot of stuff that you keep on your computer. All right? Really important stuff. <laughs> like, let's say, if you murdered somebody... <laughs> <laughs> you Justin! Kept... Justin, every time you do, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Maybe this no, is all right. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Go, go ahead. All right. No, you're and you're right, Brian. That was a mistake on my part. <laughs> Let's say your neighbor murdered somebody and you were trying to blackmail them. <laughs> okay. You want to make sure that that footage and video is kept, no matter what. You don't be susceptible to some sort of weird hard drive crash where all of a sudden what's sweet money for the we're rest of your life is just gone forever? Do you want to trust that? J to, Justin, let's say there's Justin, a fire in your house Justin. set by your neighbor who wants to get rid of that evidence. Justin. You want to make sure that you're backing your computer up with Carbonite.com, right, Brian? This is the worst thing you've ever done to me. Uh, listen, Justin. What? Here's the thing. Carbonite is far and away the easiest, most efficient, least time intensive <laughs> way to back up all of your most important files. It's awesome because you set it up, you let it run automatically forever and only uh, for, for ridiculously low. I don't even, it's less than a video game per year. This thing's going to take care of everything. I used to buy hard drives and back everything up on hard drives. And that's good. And you should. Redundancy is the key. That's what I'm saying. With blackmail proof. No, no that's <laughs> what you, you can hear it over and over and over again. Justin, you know, seriously, but you gotta let it sink into your head, right? <laughs> Listen, folks, why don't you go ahead and take the plunge? Carbonite.com offer code Justin. NSFW, and no. you're gonna get, uh, you know, a super sweet plan. <laughs> let them know that NSFW sent you, and that all of your precious, precious information, <laughs> Mr. Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> is kept in the cloud. <laughs> All right, listen. Uh, I do want to reiterate that if you're not somebody who's currently blackmailing a potential murderer... Hey, this is just an example. <laughs> I know. I understand. I understand. But as long a as... A real somebody... example, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> As long as you're somebody who just wants to get your files, your your the, the pictures of your baby being born, your first NSFW show that was a total train wreck and led to the cancellation of the show. If you want to protect <laughs> these files, you've got to get Carbonite.com. And here's the important part. Two things I want you to do. Number one, use promo code NSFW when you sign up. Not only will you get a discount, but guess what? You'll be letting the fine folks over at Carbonite, which Han Solo was frozen in, by the way. That's how good it is. You'll be yeah. letting them know that this show is the one that got you to finally get off your lazy backside and finally sign up. Second of all, what I want you to do is go out on Twitter and actually tweet. What's what's Carbonite's Twitter? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and think it's at Carbonite. Well, you know what? I'm going to say that. and I'm going to. Uh, yeah, by the way, we're getting in the chat room at Carbonite. So go ahead. Let them know right now. Hit them up at Carbonite. By the way, last week we had Squarespace and everybody. Squarespace we noticed, say, by the way. Yeah, Squarespace yeah. totally said, wow, do we have some passionate fans over at NSFW show. So if you want to get a tweet back from Carbonite, make sure to let them know. Thank you for supporting the show and making NSFW possible. Yes. Let's just say also that uh, on this show, it, it's what we like to call a non-traditional show really? for the Twit Network. Is, is that yeah. how you would describe uh, it? So we need to make sure that the sponsors like the show or else we don't get to keep doing it. Right. So if you like this show, just go ahead. At the very least, tweet at Carbonite. Let them know that you really, really, really like this sponsor. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. No, at the very least. Yeah, look, yeah, everyone knows that we, we try to find line. You know, we're a little bit racy for the Twit yeah. Network. But we're I, I think, razors yeah. in. I, I think, I think, yeah. So on, the, on the precipice of cancellation at a moment's notice. <laughs> so send the words of our boss. Support Carbonite.com. Make sure you get all your precious files backed up and use offer code NSFW, folks. That's Carbonite.com. Make sure you're blackmail safe. Go, don't go, go, no. See, that's what everyone's going to say. Now, every time you bring up Carbonite, when Leo is on Twit and he mentions Carbonite, everyone's going to put, like, like asterisk, make sure your blackmail is safe. Maybe they're Carbonite. letting him know. <laughs> <laughs> but you they're say like, that. hey, when's, when's my show starting? You say that. I back up with Carbonite now. <laughs> you say that, and the chat room repeats all these things for, for all eternity. It's Nice unreal. try, Laporte. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. Can we finally get to the sandbox? Can we make this... this Let's happen. go, folks. Let's get <laughs> rocking and rolling. We had you guys send in 
your, uh, your, your, your movie confessions. confessions. Yes, your guilty pledge movie confessions. We're gonna, we've assembled a tribunal of, like, you know, if there's the finest minds in the business, and then there's the Kmart version of the finest <laughs> minds of the business, and then there's the Walgreens version of the finest minds of the business. <laughs> and then there's the Quickie Mart. Exactly. Yeah. We're, we're the guy outside the Quickie Mart selling something Sunday. out of his trunk. Yeah. Yeah. We're that. Minds of the business. I get uh, older and they stay the same. <laughs> all yes, right, all do. right, all yes, right. They do. <laughs> uh, so, so here we go. Yeah, we, we had you guys send in, and we are going to deliberate them and offer you either absolution, right, or we will banish you, banish to you the to the hinterlands the world. of embarrassment. We are the tribunal of internet movie guilt. Yes, and we will either bless you or curse you, and either way, we will mock you. So let's start with number one. What do we, we got? We will start with our old friend Jason the M. Jason oh, the man, M. Jason the M, actually, he, this is the guy who wrote a rock opera about your beard. About my beard. When I had <laughs> this a beard, is not an wrote... exaggeration or a lie. We should probably show that before one of the episodes sometime. Maybe sure, we'll the after show. sure, yeah, okay. no, no, yeah. I mean, and this was also, like, he, he earns double credit, because that's before we had, like, Oh, that's before kind of, we were yeah. anyone, yeah. yeah. We weren't even, like, uh, He was a real weirdo yeah. to actually do fan videos for us then. And the whole thing started because he said, hey, Brian, I need to make a video. What should you make it about? And I was like, I could care less. I was like, make it about Justin's beard. And two weeks later... <laughs> No lie, a rock opera about Justin's beard. All right, what's he say? Uh, here we go. His secret shame is Miss March, which I believe came out either last year or this year. Miss March is a horrible movie, as you'd expect, from the whitest kids you know sketch uh, oh. troupe. However, it is also hilarious. The characters, the storyline, the comedy, it's just about everything else. The movie can be fully described in one word, retarded. But both times I've watched it, I found myself laughing throughout. What makes this movie hilarious? Crazy Fireman, Abstinence Seminar, Craig Robinson singing hip-hop hits such as I'm an F word, a white B, and S my D while I F your A. Hey. I have no idea what you just said, but um, I'm pretty spell it. sure you spelled bingo just then. So, <laughs> and then turning on a strobe light while a girl with epilepsy is uh, performing uh, an act that I don't want to repeat. All right. Uh, so there we go. Miss March. Do we, uh, and, and really this- as, as, as part of the tribunal, I gotta be honest here. I think it's important that all of us have propriety at the upfront and I have to confess that I've never watched Miss March. Neither have I. Neither have I. Neither have I. Neither have I. And I don't think that that precludes us from passing judgment. Oh, no, yeah, no. <laughs> that was like stupid. In yeah. the case that all of us have not watched a movie, I think it should be standard policy that we immediately condemn this person because he's weird and I don't understand him. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Perfect. And, and here's the thing. I, I will say this, that when it comes to comedies, like, there are a lot of comedies that come out, but there are enough good comedies. Yeah. Like, I, I don't think, I mean, it's not like, like horror, where like now, it's a genre way, where there's a ton of it, understand. but there's not a ton of good stuff. Right. Like, I'm with you. I'm with you of taking the general justification of like, look, there are plenty of comedies. Why you got to justify a bad comedy? However, we here at NSFW might find ourselves on the other side of that fence. <laughs> and so, as a result, I'm reluctant to shut down anyone who wants to justify anything oh, no, that no, somebody no, no, else no. thinks Yeah, no, but like, like the dumb comedies that I like, I'm going to vote for. Like the ones that I I don't know or don't understand, I'm gonna generally condemn. Oh, so I, you wanna you wanna support it? What do you say? No, no, no. I, I, I want to condemn train. Yeah, I don't understand him, and he's weird. I agree with him. All right. You know what? Then you wanna know what? I don't like the whitest kids you know as like a sketch. At all. F yeah. them. Screw them. I think I, you know what? I, I'm gonna be the lone voice of dissent. This is like the Supreme Court here. I have to be you know, the dissenting <laughs> opinion written by Justice Brushwood. <laughs> I say that uh, I always if you find it funny, then it's funny. And mainly, I'm saying that because I want you guys who watch this at home to find us funny. And so I'm gonna be the dissenting view. But Tribunal, what be your answer? Consider yourself banished. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Why don't you just hit the bricks, mister? All right, next up, who else you got for us, Mr. Justin Robert Youngification, the first? All right, here we go. This one comes from Dino Kadich. Dino Kadich writes, I saw Watchmen three times, uncensored, and now I am numb to godly blue junk. Oh. Now, wait a minute. Yeah. So someone, people are saying... This is this a guilty is, pleasure? I don't, I don't even there, think this there, belongs here. There were, uh, listen, he, he wrote it in, and, and I, I will say this. There are some people who really, really are down on Watchmen, who thought it was too long, too boring. They, made, they took liberties... With the book, which is held as sacred to yeah. many, including this myself. This is like saying, I, I, I secretly confess to you that I watched the Oscar award-winning documentary, Super Size Me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I must I tell you, I like The Godfather. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's very commendable. Of you. <laughs> very commendable. Very brave, sir. No, uh, this is, I, I almost want to condemn him yeah, for, for thinking being this ashamed. is a guilty pleasure. Yeah. Dude, I'm down with that. Yes. Do you want to condemn him? Yes. 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 Absolutely. Thumbs up for the movie. Watch condemn him. Quick. We should say real quick. Watch him. He's amazing. And the only excuse. Oh, he's being condemned. All right. 
Uh, should we, do we look sternly into the camera when they're yes. no, next time, next time, yeah, we gotta, we gotta make right. sure to mean mug. No, they're doing good. it anyway because uh, offended. No, they're really, yeah, listen, listen, Watchmen's, Watchmen's amazing. Yes. Yeah, and, and the yes. only excuse you have, like, I will forgive you. If you've never read the book, it might be overwhelming and confusing and annoying. And in which case, that's your fault because you didn't read the book. Now go read the book, Watchmen is amazing, and come back and well, apologize. I, I never read the book. And you still thought it was I amazing? Was I was blown away. I thought it was amazing. Oh, dude, see? That's because you guys have double brain. Wait, how do you guys read the book since? I read the book. Well, I, I read the book before. I, I, I want to. Dude, but I still have it. It like I, I'm not lying that of of any book that I've read, few if I you know I'll go ahead and say none has actually changed the way I lived, the way that Watchmen did. Really? Yeah. No, it's seriously. Well, he like, has the collection. No, seriously, so he's yeah. out there trying to kill communists all the time. He wears a mask with a Rorschach <laughs> shirt pattern all over it. Exactly. Rorschach. Now my Rorschach. 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 Actually, Rorschach. Rorschach. He calls himself Rorschach. He's got. <laughs> oh, all over his face. <laughs> Yeah. Rorschach yeah. alone, you can't say that that movie's a guilty. Oh, that's right. amazing. Some no, it's it's, it's sick. And and by the way, I want Offended. everybody uh, to go ahead and and tweet at Larry Fong, friend of the show. Who Did is, he work uh, on it? Well, he's the director of photography. Of I Watchmen. didn't know he directed the photography yeah, on that. He's, he's the, the By the way, let me tell you, Larry Fong does not have nearly the number of Twitter followers he should. He's a friend of the show. He's a personal friend of us. He came out and saw cinematographer for Three Hundred Watchmen and the new Sucker Punch. The new Sucker Punch, yeah. 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 which looks yeah, delicious. as well as as well as the first season of Lost. Right. He does not have nearly the number of Twitter followers he should. He's a funny guy and he's a friend of the show. Everybody go out there follow at, at Larry, Larry Fong. Fong. And, and, and tell Larry him I have Fong. a man crush on him. I will. Yeah, well, that out there. I will leave that to you. There's an at reply function for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead, Justin. What do you got for us, sir? See where it goes. All right, here we go. Uh, this next one comes from our old friend Patrick Delahanty. He says, "Fever pitch." Oh, Jimmy oh, Fallon and Drew Barrymore can't oh, act their way out of a wet catcher's glove, oh. but I think the ending is one of the best endings of all time. I will also point out that Patrick Del Henty is from Boston and is most likely a Red Sox oh. fan. And I get misty-eyed whenever the Red Sox win the World Series. P.S. Yankees suck. <laughs> all right, let me say this. First of all, strangely enough, the two actors in that film, Drew Barrymore and Jimmy Fallon, I have an irrational uh, uh, affection for. Like both I'll of them. You know. Like, like I'll if give you, you want, me, if you Drew want me to judge them, oh no, I've got such a crush. Never been kissed. Drew Barrymore. Oh. I was in college. Really? She Come on. Play She's like a hot chick yeah. with Down syndrome. She's like, oh, oh my god. Did wow. you really just say wow. that? She is. Wow. <laughs> she is. I'm sorry. She directed that roller derby movie though. Which like where? Oh, <laughs> Dude, Kevin, Kevin Smith loved it. I don't know. I'm just. How saying. about how oh, about Kevin oh, I don't Smith. know. A little movie with two letters called E.T. How how precocious and adorable she is. Yeah, she was adorable, and then she grew up and was like, dang it. No, no, look. Shouldn't have done all them drugs, Drew. No, listen, listen, like an E.T. Let me tell you, my attraction is is quasi-sexual. I don't know why I say quasi. She's very attractive to me, and I can't explain why. Batman Forever? Was she in Batman Forever? Yeah. Oh, dear. she was. Yeah, she was one of Two-Face's ladies. She was the one in white. So you're she, gonna, really? she was yeah. the good side. All right, yeah. Here's the point, though. Here's the point, though. Why do I, I not remember that? If you like Drew Barrymore, go back and watch that. All right. Well, well here's I'll the thing. Makes my eyes yeah, bleed. Look, I don't care what kind of dare you give me. I'm not going to go back and watch Batman Forever. Thank you very much. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're using your Batman voice on me like it's hypnosis. No, 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 no that, was, that was Schumacher Batman. That was like, do it. <laughs> here's the important thing is that I have an irrational affection for those two actors, and I can understand. Funny how she was in Donnie movie. Darko if you want to beef up, you know. Oh, my God. That's got to be enough to, to cancel out Batman forever. Yeah, no, Donnie Darko forgives. Ah! Uh, gentlemen. You get into some gray area if you bring up Donnie Darko. Can I finish my point? Gen yes, gentlemen yeah, at the tribunal. Here's the important thing. The point is, is I have an irrational affection for these two, and I can understand why them in a movie together might make somebody fall in love with it, despite the fact that they're not well known for their acting skills. And I would say I'm going to give this man a pass. I give him absolution, gentlemen. Uh, I, 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 I actually, I, I, I agree with your result, but for a different reason. I absolutely have an irrational uh, love for the the Pirelli brothers. And I know they make terrible movies sometimes, but they've made some of like my favorite movies. So I, I, I I'm not saying I like the movie. I'm saying I understand, right? But See? it's but it's about the movie. It's not about the history. By the of... way, here's the flip side. The three of you were competing together in the previous game. The three of you are splitting your own vote in the tribunal. There's only three uh, in the tribunal. So uh, really, actually, uh, this one, only, only one of you, only one of That's you it. needs to defect. I'm not bringing them next time. Yeah, for real. All right, no, <laughs> no, but he, no, here's the deal. So, so only one of you, them, yeah, if no, one yeah. defects, they all have to go negative? Well, no, 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 if one of them defects, 
the 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 absolution carries. Oh yeah, there's five. yeah, because they don't have because we're we're yeah. on one. You side. have to have a unified vote for everything. So uh, what's it gonna be? Gonna be? Oh no, they do. I mean, oh okay, okay. okay. Yeah. You want that so one unit? Have a tribunal. No, but no, no, but but if they're one unit, yeah. then he's already well, absolved. Josh is yeah, the only no, one. I know, but we gotta let him talk. Josh is the only one that saw the whole movie. I yeah. only saw it 15 minutes and then said a big F you so, and changed the channel. So you're literally Josh is the only person in this whole room who's actually seen the movie. I couldn't do it. And his voice carries no weight. I love that. Bad. It's not a good movie. But it's I love bad. Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. But as an actor, he's so horrendous. He looks oh, like. Okay. He looks like. And now, and now uh, I'm sure you're gonna go finish. tear down Taxi now. <laughs> no, because Queen Latifah. Oh, okay, got it. She, <laughs> she's very bad. Actually. All right. Look. No, can we get a ruling, good. gentlemen? Absolution or none? I'll say absolution just because I thought it was entertaining because of how dumb it was. You know what? I know we said you guys had to absolution agree. is yours. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, absolve. Congratulations on your absolution, sir. There we go. <laughs> what else You're you got free. for us, Justin? Post All right, high. here we go. Uh, uh, Max wrote in with his pick. Uh, Surf Ninjas is the best oh, worst yes. movie ever. Oh, gosh. He counts down on four points. Okay. Number one, you have surfing and growing up in Southern California. Surfing's cool. Yeah. Number two, ninjas. Yeah. Tell me who don't want to grow up to be a ninja. Yeah, absolutely. Three, Leslie Nielsen, the greatest uh, comedic actor of our time, is the bad guy. And sure. four, last and most definitely not least, it introduced the world to the goddess that is Kelly Who. Oh, who? my God, wait, wait. Kelly Who? Who? I don't know. Do, does Kelly, anyone know who Kelly Who is? No, no, no. no, 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 no. She's, like, really hot. Yeah. Okay, well, I assume I inferred that point. From. They had that little, uh... The Game, the game, gear, the game, the game gear, gear. That gear. told the freaking future. Yeah, no. Hello? Minor points. Minor points. Yeah, I kept hitting oh, mine on the thing to try to get it to, and it never did. You know what? It's like on the name alone. It's like, I don't care how bad the movie is. Any movie that has yeah. the courage to release itself as Surf Ninjas, I'm giving this thing a pass. Can we just go... <laughs> so I move... Gentlemen, I move straight for an immediate absolution. I vote. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, and, and Rick's passing around pictures of, of Kelly Hoom. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. okay. what, what's funny is I love the idea that he shows a picture, and then all three of these guys go, ew, and they suddenly turn down. <laughs> <laughs> gross. Like, gross. Uh, and by the way, was she in Scorpion King? Huh? Was she in Scorpion King? I always um, want to see if that's real. Right now. Two? Yeah, find it out. No, yeah, I think no, one. This is totally the time. To all right, here we go. Uh, yeah, either way, he is absolved. Yes. Go. The solution <laughs> is yours. <laughs> <laughs> Zelda. <laughs> yeah, I love that there's the Wilhelm scream at the end. Yeah. <laughs> well, you want to know what? I was looking yes. for like harp sounds, and then I'm like, I'm like, oh, I wish he had a harp sound like like the one from Zelda and the Fairy Fountain. <laughs> but I'm like, why don't I just rip off the Fairy Fountain song? <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, all right, was I right? There we go. Who Scorpion knows the Scorpion King? King. King? Yes, by all means. All right, let's go. Let's go. We got time for what, like one or two more. We got to wrap this thing up. Let's go. This one. All right. Here we go. Now we're gonna actually dig into some real, real dirt. Uh oh. <laughs> Now we're gonna get like real shameful, shameful. No, talk. no, no. This Attack of the Clones from John. Oh, oh dear. John Vogel. Oh dear. Now this is the reverse of what you normally associate with a guilty pleasure, because normally you associate movies that were a commercial flop, but you're ashamed that you love so much because you think they're yeah. so good and nobody else went and saw them. Attack of the Clones, last time I checked, made a few bucks. Did all right. It did, did okay. Right, right. Did okay. Now oh, by the way, also you, you can say the second least terrible of the prequels. <laughs> The second least terrible. But I thought it was more like what you'd be ashamed to say you like in front of your friends. Well, that's just it. That's the thing, and I think. And, and this is a shameful thing to say. Well, exactly. Right. This, this is. You the, should rightfully be shot. This is the type of yeah. crowd that we garner here. That certainly he feels like he's ashamed to admit to us that he really likes Attack of the Clones. You know what? There are a couple of scenes. <laughs> Actually, uh, Brian, Brian, do you want do you want to reveal the conversation that I was having with you? Are we gonna explode? I don't know. That was Sorry. very weird. Uh, no, George Lucas is taking control of this. <laughs> this operation. <laughs> George, George is pissed. George is pissed. <laughs> Darth Darth sellout is like they're speaking about my properties. <laughs> Fire the the blast ring. All, all of a sudden, we just see our PayPal accounts debited. <laughs> 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 wait, wait. I'm sorry. What did, you, what did you want me to reveal? Oh uh, no, uh, I was at Star Wars Celebration. Yes. This uh, this weekend, and I was at a panel called uh, Why Defending. We Love the Prequels. Okay, all right, now, now, and real quick, let me explain that he told me he was going to this panel. He was trying to decide between this panel and another one, right? What was the one? Uh, I can't, oh, the Robot Chicken panel was running into it. Right, So okay. I left the Robot Chicken panel and I got to right. the Why We so Love he, the Prequels. He tells me, you know, like, why do, why do I love the prequels? He's like, well, I might, might catch the second half. And I say, well, in my imagination, you walk in and there's an overweight dude, sloppily dressed saying, uh, they're saying, but my 37th point, 
please, seriously, that fight with Yoda? How great was that? <laughs> I kid Did you not. not. Uh, I, kid you I not. walk. I walk in, and they're like, "And really, how awesome is the fight with Yoda?" <laughs> That's unbelievable. Freaking precognition, dude. That is awesome. They, all, they also on the heartbeat of nerd. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They, they also made the following points. Uh, the guy who played Emperor Palpatine should have won an Oscar because he was better than Kevin Spacey in The Usual Suspects. Was. Yeah, no, oh. of course he was. Uh, and then they also uh, what? said that Jar Jar was a Shakespearean caliber fool. Yeah. Uh, a fool. Yes. The tragic fool because he eventually sells out the uh, you know the galaxy. I, was I just thought he was ridiculously power. annoying. I mean, I guess. See, and, and that's the thing. Racist. It's like it's like and, and racist. And, yeah, and apparently, and that's right. Yeah. Everything in movies are racist. And be I don't like that movie. It's racist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, so there was uh, there was definitely like all these people are making these points of like like oh well it was this it was that and I'm like all right. Can we all address the point that these are really boring movies? And they're really dumb? <laughs> By like, the way, of all of the spoofs there ever was, the best one, and it was like four years too late on The Simpsons. You would think that they would be faster on this, but they yeah. finally decided to parody the opening of The, uh, the Phantom Menace. And they ended the fake version of the movie with Yoda saying, Tabled this motion is. And then he turns and he says, or is it? <laughs> like, that was, the, that was the best cutting, just... <clears throat> it was so... I, look, I'm, I'm giving this guy... Sorry, dude. Yeah. You don't like Attack... I understand. But wait, wait, wait. Is, is there any element? Yes. As, as Star Wars yes. fan... No, no, no I got it. The wall was amazing. No. Well, that wasn't was Attack of the Clones. Oh, which one was Attack of the Clones? I'm, Attack of the, the Clones was one. the one that starts with this stupid, fat, alien diner uh, friend of Obi-Wan Kenobi's randomly. Right. And then ends right. with uh, Yoda, a CGI Yoda doing oh backflips. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. about. But, but there are moments of geek porn. Now, now here's the thing. Including Natalie Portman's outfit when they're fighting in that bug stadium. And Actually, Mace that's, Windu. That's actual porn. I meant geek porn. <laughs> okay. Like, <laughs> like, 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 like Mace Windu cutting off Django Fett's head. Yes, exactly. There's that's moments of geek legit. head with. Or, or, yeah, I say geek head. Uh, but the important thing <laughs> is there's moments of geek porn. So I understand why you get those very brief moments of surprise. Literally, the only two moments of surprise in the entire prequel trilogy occur in that movie. So I can't understand why somebody would be attracted to it. Like that moment when nobody really expected Yoda to totally kick some ass out of nowhere, right? Right. Yeah. But, uh, and, and those moments, uh, Teller from Penn & Teller, uh, in, that, in that letter that I posted on my blog, said that the heart of all great theater is surprise. And that truly had some surprising moments in it. So I can't understand why you would want to go back and see it. However, screw Darth sellout. He betrayed and murdered my childhood. Thumbs down. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Geeks like weird things. What? I hate the prequels. I can defend his right. What? I love the Star Wars movie. Oh my God! Even the one on the film right. You guys are gonna decide. I personally Absolutely. thought it was Twilight crap. I saw it once and said, "Nah." Oh. It's like Gladiator all of a yeah, sudden. Yeah. What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? Let's see it. Oh! Oh! Consider yeah. yourself banished. Let's hear it. Let's go. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> That's your soul burning for liking that <laughs> terrible movie. And that Man, that shit. Be ashamed. Nice break wall. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. I guess we have uh, maybe, maybe one more. To I mean, go. are we gonna get to share our own? Sure. Oh, we yeah, can. I was just. I was yeah. Gonna... No, actually, you know what? Let's take Let's a pause from this. Let's get one from the tribunal. Yeah. You want to? You want to lay yourself before this court? And have yourself. <laughs> well, you brought it up. I did. Well, well, I, I, I thought no. I thought that was the direction we were going to go, but I guess not. No, 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 no we no, are no, now. I'll do it right now. This no, no, moment, you yeah, just no, embarrass no, yourself every that's that good. way. <laughs> well, look. I mean, okay. Uh, every single time it's on TV, on TNT, on TBS, on whatever, I always have to watch a Knight's Tale. Oh my God, that's the one where they play "We Will Rock You," right? Yes. That one's also like not bad though. Yeah, however, it's not. I hate it, but I don't think it's a guilty pleasure. No, it's definitely a guilty pleasure. Like oh, yeah, I can right? understand why you would like Dude, it. Dude, it's but... got like Paul Bettany, Heath Ledger. Like it's got like, like some legit. Talent yeah, like in it's there. it's a pretty well liked movie overall. Well, it was reviewed well, but its reputation was being a very silly, right. anachronistic right. movie, right? So it's like I can understand well, no, why it, you're like, kind it, of ashamed it, of it. It was one of those arguments that when it was made was like all like you know you were really really passionate about like you can't play pop music over a jousting <laughs> film that's right and then like you get like two months out and you're like wait why can't you yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, do we really hold jousting films now, like you problem, know that, that sacred to us what'll be interesting what'll be interesting is to see how this ages because like uh, lady hawk did the same thing lady hawk was very period oh yeah and, 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 and alan 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 tudyk 
from uh, Firefly Fire Sweater. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, well, yeah, so he's in that. Right so. there is the win, I yeah. guess. Yeah, was... No, but, but like Lady Hawk did the same thing. It was very style periodic in the dress and in the way they talk, but then they would play like this synth music that was so 80s, right? So I'd be interested to see how this thing ages 10 right. years from now. But look, for right now, man, I'm just saying it's cool. Okay. I'm giving you a thumbs up. I give you a pass, my buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm thumbs up on that. Josh, Ryan, I'm thumbs up. So why not? Absolve the solution is your <laughs> There we go. There we go. Uh, Ryan, do you wanna else? you wanna offer one? Yeah, you wanna go ahead and confess? I don't know. By uh, the way, you ever killed a man? You wanna tell us about that too? Once. Yeah. <laughs> NSFW sponsored by murder. <laughs> <laughs> Does that have to be one that we like to watch now, or just one that? If you don't think that should be yeah, wherever you want to pull it from you for a long time, you can bust I'm gonna, that out. I'm gonna go with Three Ninjas. Oh my God! Really? That was beautiful. When I was a kid, that's why I started karate. No kidding. Heck yeah! Dude, I no, in a movie. Yeah, Rocky, it's funny. Tum Tum, come on! It's funny that like, well, like I, I I mix up Three Ninjas and Surf Ninjas in my. Those head. were both were just out on repeat. By the way, Kid Ninjas I, were hot at the time. I know. Did they come yeah. out in like the same year? Yeah. yeah. They really wanted to sell karate to kids at that point in time <laughs> in America. It was all yeah. karate cabal. They remember, remember, side, remember Sidekicks? With, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. With Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris and, uh, and the other kid. That was another great one. The Jonathan kid, Brandis. The kid with the hair. Jonathan Brandis. I wanted yeah. his hair. Wanted so his hair. <laughs> <laughs> really? And Sequest. You were. Well, yeah, yeah. And then then didn't he, didn't he wind up like killing himself? I, yeah. Not <laughs> to bring things down? Something horrible. <laughs> well. And then I sorry. cried. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I guess I killed the mood now. Then I thought I'm Jonathan <laughs> Brandis to suicide. Oh, all movie. right. I'm Fuck the bad guy. Later. By the way, I worked at the movie theater when Three Ninjas came out, and I was dating a girl who I could tell, in retrospect, you ever have those moments where you wanted, wanted karate later. kids? Yeah, well, no, no, but years later, you look back, you're like, I should have known then, right? She was like super environmentalist. And oh, I kid man. you not, there's one brief moment in Three Ninjas, and we're both in the back of the theater waiting for the movie to end to clean up the vomit of popcorn oh. and dead children. And then, uh, and then <laughs> the guy finishes a banana and throws it off into the side in the forest and she goes ah. like she was offended <laughs> that he littered with a banana in the uh, in the forest filled with bananas wait no can i retract they grow bananas one that i would forest? actually enjoy watching now still yeah yeah absolutely last action hero Oh, dude, that one is one of the most yes. funny movies. I worked in the movie theater at the same time. That movie was so funny and Love. so ahead of its time, Love. so postmodern, yes. and so undeserved the reputation it got. Oh. It was and, 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 All I did and, was and dream for three days after of like, I want to go into a movie. Yes. Well, and, and I'll tell you what, and you could not have it be with a better guy than Arnold, who oh, became no. this kind of bigger than life. Yeah. Figure. Yeah. Like, you know, that he was, he transcended by, by what he did at post movies. He, like, you know, he is. The ultimate action hero. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, that, and I tell oh, you, like, awesome. no, I'm totally with and you. And the eye, that. the bomb eye, or whatever. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, and the, and I tell you, I think the problem was something's the rotten the in joke. the state they of Denmark. Yeah. They didn't realize they were being meta. Exactly. Like, when the when the ice cream truck hits a ramp and immediately <laughs> yeah. explodes in midair, <laughs> like that's riffing yeah, on a movie was, convention. It was taken too seriously. For yes. Sure. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. No. Uh, uh, you know what? Absolution. I'll tell you, I'm both. Both of them. Both accounts. Absolution is yours. Josh, I, Josh. Can't, I can't even think of one. You're not ashamed of anything. You don't watch no chick flicks. No, no, I'll tell you what. No, because that's, that's 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 bull. Because like you like more terrible movies when you're young. Like I would uh, say from the ages of yeah, you know what? Zero to sixteen. Let's do this. Yeah. Then you will for the rest of your life. Let's just. Ask you are closer him. to that age than any of us here, so you have to have a wealth of them. Wait, Hang on. Your, like your favorite movie you're might phrasing, be a guilty. You're phrasing it wrong, Justin, because, uh, because he's not guilty about them yet. Definitely. Yeah, you you're right. Ask, what are your three favorite movies? Yes, and what are we the, will judge. What are the three best movies what ever? Are the three best <laughs> movies you've ever seen. Put that right up in his grill. Let's do this. What are the three best movies? That's you can't name top Come three on, Name three. Yes, yeah. you can. Three that you liked a lot. And maybe Don't you can also do it on a webcam and a podcast that gets out to yeah. a couple thousand No, not people. this year. Not this year. Before this year, name three movies you really, really liked. Of all liked. time. Braveheart. All there right. we go. That's and if you don't like that, I'd bury you in the Ryan. Rose Garden. All right. The fart movie. That's a good one. It's, I like I like farty McFarter. Oh, I, I don't know. You don't. It's, it's hard to those pick are the only three two movies favorite you like. movies. <laughs> what you doing, Josh? Oh, I'm flipping between Braveheart no, and Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Can't decide between the two. There's nothing else. Those are two yeah, two yeah, movies. Is that so you're, you're walking around, okay, you're hanging so, out in high so school, talking to your friends about movies. Saving Private yeah, Ryan and Braveheart. Favorite movies. Best movie. Good movie. Yeah, a movie that I've watched over a hundred times. Yes. Here we go. Yes. Is iRobot. 
Now this is all right. This is good because this will be a point of contention. You never won that I movie sucked. Yeah, no. Dude, 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 really? You're so good. Okay, okay, yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf leads a revolution against the machine. He <laughs> starts walking up with, with 400 dude, people behind so, him. It was so Oh, gay. I'm a street urchin. Look so at gay, me. It was so entertaining. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right, douchebag. No, and the uh, dude that did uh, the voice was the guy from Firefly, right? Exactly. Yeah. It was, oh, it see, was, again, it was the yeah. Alan Tudor yeah. tournament. You know what? I say Alec Alec I did not murder him! <laughs> the Alan Tudyk argument is hereby dis dissolved. I don't want to hear it again. I don't want to hear uh, Alan Tudyk is just for dude, anything. Robot, because you can say that by that that thing, he like flips and punches him by in the back logic, of the head. Dodgeball is Come suddenly on. an awesome it's movie. It's all right! It's not a Tudyk good movie. movie. I, I didn't say it was a good movie. I just said I've watched uh, it a lot of times. I just realized just that we're you having should. two totally it, different like, conversations okay. and at nobody at home can time. understand one freaking thing. So <laughs> let me put this to a vote right now, gentlemen. I, robots, let's see those thumbs. I don't know. No, no. We're saying that either he should or should not be ashamed by it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, should or should not be. Is, is it a guilty pleasure or is it a legitimate love that movie? It's awesome. So, so you should come out to your friends yes. and, be like, and be like, hey, everybody, I, robot. Right? Right. Right? Robot. Right? I High robot. five? I robot? Thumbs up is right. I robot's okay, right? I robot? Yeah, I robot. I robot. I robot. That's I robot. the child version. Yeah, no, that's I good. That's good. I robot's good. All right, here we go. Gentlemen, this is a... Uh, uh, and by the way, chat room is saying shame, shame, shame. All right, you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? I robot. I robot really? sucked. Let's do it. Back Let's up your it. black male carbonite. Vote. Stop looking at the chat room and vote. Oh, come on! That's right. You know, it doesn't matter. You still got yes, and you still it. Ha -ha! Oh, is yours. yours. <laughs> By the way, they did rip off the Bjork music video design. Okay, For the well, world. who cares? They did. It's Bjork. They She's did. from, like, some other country, right? Okay. Here's I the important thing. Though. Here's the important thing is what I liked about iRobot is they actually, I'd never seen in popular fiction of any sort, somebody calling out the bizarre implication <laughs> of Isaac Asimov's Three Laws of Robotics. Right. The yeah, fact yeah, that yeah. they actually took it to the extreme and the robot was protecting us from ourselves, I thought that was brilliant. I really got a kick out of the movie, and I understand it's very forgettable for most moviegoers, yeah. but I defend you, sir. Thank Be you. proud. Thank I, you, Robot, for the win. <laughs> All right, uh, do we want to do, we can do one, one more? We can do one more. Wait, wait, what about yours? Did yeah, you oh, no, you we yours? have no shame. Of any, of any variety. Yeah, I've well, never seen the show. Well, the, the yeah, thing is, like, this right. came from a bit where my my biggest one we already did on the show because it came from the, when we had the Spill.com guys on. Yes. And mine, which is a movie that I will talk about constantly, and has well, actually been kind of like <laughs> well, the, the Twilight the Eclipse. Street. Step yes. up three D. <laughs> Step up three D. Uh, I I am a huge fan of Dust Till Dawn. Which that's okay, not a guilty. That's, no, that's, that's a terrible, terrible movie, and he should be ashamed. And I, I got, when I when I brought that up on on, on that episode, everybody everybody ripped me. Terrible. But I I literally I'm with you. see that's the thing. It's like I found like I have made some of my best friends in life yeah. by mentioning that, and they're like, oh yeah, really? No, you draw, you draw the shape yeah. in the Here's sand. The, exactly. <laughs> I know. Here's the thing. It's one thing for a movie to be like half retarded and do its best to stumble through a plot, right? It's right. another thing to have it start off brilliantly, Agreed. rope you okay. in, and yes. then peel off the mask and say, by the way, I'm a retarded robot. Yeah. And totally screw <laughs> okay, up for the rest of it. The first I was, was so fantastic. betrayed by that movie. Like it's I it's it's like a zombie you find hot and it's like it's more repulsive because you kind of want her. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's oh it's no, but, but here's here's the thing, yeah. is like, you know, for me. Like, I love, 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 love Tarantino movies, and I love the crazy cheese that Robert Rodriguez likes to, uh, you know, devolve to at points. So it's like, for some people who are like, oh my God, like, I love the crazy horror stuff, but I hate that boring talking part of the beginning. Or like, I love the Tarantino crime drama, but I hate when it goes into a zombie shoot em up. I'm like, oh no, wait, no, no. You, I can have those in one movie? Like, we're all the same characters it, it do the same thing? Like I love that's it. Just yeah, it. That's yeah. just it. Is that it's the it betrayal was, because those like are. He wrote, he wrote the right. script. Yeah. Yeah, he wrote the script, yeah. but he didn't direct the opening. No, no, no. Rodriguez did. It almost seemed like it's at clearly, one point he's like, yeah, hey, you do the rest. And Tarantino and Rodriguez yeah. is like, oh, I'll suck it up for the rest of the day. It's like, look, uh, sometimes peanut butter and chocolate together taste like poop and whipped cream. And that's <laughs> one of those movies. <laughs> I think you might be having a stroke. <laughs> 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 All right, are we gonna wrap this thing up? You want to hang around for the after show? What's well, no, here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Uh, well, number one, I guess we we have to Let's end. We have to end we on find something. Out how we're doing on our dig? Yes, are yes. Somebody, somebody, give us. Uh, somebody, go ahead and give us a a update on the dig thing while we're waiting for that, Brian. 
You give you give us yours, and we'll wrap it up. Like oh shoot, I have to confess yeah. something. What yes, you do? Okay. Oh man, I was not prepared for this. Uh, which is two hundred and twenty eight digs right now. Everybody, dig Two hundred and twenty. Uh, we're at two thirty nine. Some people are reporting. Let's go ahead and get this thing up on the front page before the show ends. If not, we'll get it on the after show. We'll see how this thing explodes. This kid is going to be famous. And let me explain. We should pull back the curtain real quick to explain the whole reason we're trying to explode this kid's work and make him famous is because. Some people will notice there are no lyrics to the NSFW song. Like, we just play the opening riff of that song. He can help fill that void. He's all like, two jerks who made me famous. So it's like a selfish motive. Now they take me at school. Oh, yes, yes, yes. However, you are changing the subject. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, You're trying yeah, to yeah. sneak away from this. Exactly. You know what? Uh, and what's funny is, and I feel weird even saying this. First of all, in the past, uh, I actually had to qualify Fight Club as a guilty pleasure. Now, what? it's finally gotten its due a decade down the road. Oh, no, you know, no, no, no. You can't even bring Fight Club I said two parts. Thing. I had two parts. I got. I, I explained. <laughs> I didn't hear that story. part. I just started yelling in the first. <laughs> I noticed. You were busy reading the chat. Sorry. <laughs> two parts. First of all, Fight Club <laughs> used to be a guilty pleasure. When it first came out, it had like 60% right. on the tomato tomatometer at uh, rottenatomatoes.com. Right, and finally, it's up to like 80%. And uh, so that was that was... Far and away, one of the movies that impacted me the most. It was amazing, yes. the experience. This idea, because there was right at the time that I quit my day job at Dell and I decided I was going to do this nutty idea of doing magic full time. And it was, a, it was all about that. And so that was a big influence on me. Uh, but as far as movies that I'll watch, oh, you know what? I've got, I don't know if this is a guilty pleasure or not. You guys could tell me if I shouldn't even say this is a guilty pleasure or not. But Equilibrium. Oh, no, no, yes. No. I was wait, wait, wait. No, you say, say, you say it. It, should, it should be a guilty pleasure, though, right? I love it, but yes. I no, that, you understand, that, so it is a guilty pleasure. Whoa, yeah. that, that's that's one Christian Bale and, 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 and the gun, no, the gun kung fu. The gun kung fu. The, the gun caught it. Now, keep in mind, keep in mind, the director who did it, Kurt Wimmer, was that was his, that was one of his first big movies. He went on to create what is universally reviled as one of the worst sci-fi action movies of all time, Ultraviolet. Yeah, Ultraviolet. Right, and, and I haven't heard much from him since then. But oh my God, for all its flaws, do I love Equilibrium? Yes, I will I watch it over and over and over again. Those signs of the gun foo, it's kung fu with freaking guns, yeah, and no. especially that. No, that that being, being said, <laughs> that being said, it is it is a direct Matrix afterburn movie. Oh, like yeah. it, it was from from the yeah. design to the yeah. lighting and everything. A like, lot is, of things yeah. were. No, it was. I, I, I'm like yeah. for that, you know. The but movie, it was but, different yeah. enough for me not to be like, ah, you bastard. Yeah, no, yeah. sure. You got awesome. Yeah, no, it was totally rip off of the Matrix. I mean, no, but that, awesome it, things happened and people did good. Come no, go stop. Total it. rip off. No, that oh, would be like that would be like, like if, if, if the next year it, it was a movie about like you know after Rocky where like a boxer. You know, had to come like, through the ranks, some but then some different kid, stuff happened. Like some teenage kid overcomes adversity and wins a giant tournament with Mr. Miyagi helping him. <laughs> yeah, total ripoff. Total head says bunk. That's oh, bogus. stop it. Dude, it's the same stop thing. It. No, it's, it's the same not. thing. They wore the same outfits it's as in the thing. Matrix. <laughs> what did you They wore black. They wore all black. It was a post-apocalyptic future where they wore the same costumes. Everything was lit the same. I demand a vote. Am I absolved? Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh my God, it's unified. No, I'll actually absolve you too. I'm just saying that. <laughs> 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 is your <laughs> All right, let's check in. Whoa. Let's get a final tally. Wait, what do we got? Sorry. Okay, thank you. want to make sure we got the screaming. <laughs> uh, all right, well, there we go. So listen. Please, if you uh, are, are even uh, watching this on the podcast, make sure you head over to dig.com and dig up our Star Trek with lyrics. And uh, do we have anything? I, I say we wrap things up. We're going to have to save it for the after show. By the way, for those of you who don't know, we get together every Tuesday night at 10 mm -hmm. o'clock Eastern. You can tune in live. We usually do a pre-show and an after show. And we take your feedback very personally. So drop us an email over at nsfwshow.com. What do we got? What do you, are what we, are you we under two here? weeks? What's that? Are we under two weeks for, for the big? For Dragon Con, Con of a Dragon? Dragon Con, Con Oh of my dragon. God! We need to find who would be the most epic guest and try to get him booked because we are going to do our first ever live NSFW show at Dragon Con, Con of a Dragon. Are you guys going to Dragon in Con? In two weeks. Where's Dragon Con? And where's Dragon Con? Yes. Get out of our office! I don't even know it's what it is. It's not your office. Get out of get out of his office. <laughs> <laughs> get out of our lives. Leave me. Dragon God is only the biggest thing to ever happen in the whole it's world. It's a big, big uh, sci-fi fantasy convention in Atlanta. 
But, yeah. By the way, uh, we do have confirmed interest. Tom Green wants to be on our show. Yeah. Some of our past guests, we had Kyle Gass of Tenacious D. We had Greg Grumberg. We had some heavy hitters. We want to keep that train rolling. So if there's anyone else you want to get, we're looking very good. We're in contact with the press agent over uh, for... I just want to call him, don't try this, <laughs> for uh, uh, what's his, Adam, Adam Savage, Savage over Savage, yeah. of the Mythbusters. We're going to get him on the show oh, as well. Nice. What do you guys got to plug? Talk to us about Film Riot. Film Riot. Watch it. I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and moving on. Uh, well, hey, let, let, me, let me say something about Film Riot. Film Riot is not only a show that anybody who has any interest in any kind of film production or making your own movie or, or you know, any kind of technical capacity should watch, not only for software stuff, but also for uh, you know, just practical effects and uh, equipment and stuff. But also, it is one of the funniest shows on the internet. Absolutely. Bar none. Absolutely. Uh, the, the writing on the show is so on point and the characters uh, by these three men who are to my left are fantastic. If you are not watching Film Riot, you are an idiot. You should die. And, and, die. and to you, to die. you, I say, consider yourself banished. <laughs> yes. See, that's why I don't say that. I just let Justin do it for you. Right. He does a much better job than I would do. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, re Revision3.com slash Film, Film Riot. Riot. By the way, we should disclose that the whole reason I'm here in Florida is because we just shot another episode of Film Riot together. Yes. And... I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to decide if this is true or not, but I may have just spent an entire day working on a scene where I will crap an atomic bomb, make out with myself. Almost. Uh, well, potentially. You know what? You can go all the way with that. I'm okay with that. Hello. You can. <laughs> in fact, the more I think about it, the more I think you should cut it to where we are actually look like we're about to make out. We, we, you should go all the way. Are we kind of saying that this is true instead of leaving and, it up to them? And what, you know, maybe we're so. Oh, oh, only only Brian knows how to paint that kind of hypothetical. And maybe that sounds like an admission. <laughs> and maybe, uh, maybe kill a man with my spikes. I'm just putting it out there. Maybe, maybe those things will be meaning, maybe meaning, it meaning your crazy man hair spikes. No, I mean with the spikes, the daggers that I keep that I. Sh people with. Ah, I shank them yes. and I kill them live yes. on the show. All right, uh, you guys have Twitters you want to promote? Uh, Ryan underscore Connolly. Ryan underscore Connolly. Remember, there are two N's, two L's, and two O's in Connolly. Uh, Timmy underscore Allen. Remember, there are two T's, three Y's, and four Z's in Timmy. And a G. <laughs> Josh underscore Connolly. Josh underscore Connolly. All right, send so uh, and, and plug, plug uh, the, the, the sisters. Twitter. It's the, oh, it's a Emily underscore Connolly. Which, yeah. which might, as funny. as funny as these three men are, not, they're they're not the, the, Emily, Tom, the Emily Connolly not Twitter funny. might be my favorite thing on the internet. The, the, the hit girl before hit girl. And oh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Real, actually. In fact, so, so many people brought that to my attention totally before I saw yeah. Kickass, and they were like, hey, it's hit girl. And I'm like, well, thank God we did that first because people would be like, <laughs> and, you rip off. And yeah. they had no money from it. So, well, and they make zero dollars. Yeah. yeah. All right. So I said we, we wrap this thing up. We're going to hang around for the post show. Make sure you join us every Tuesday. You can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash schwood. That's S-H-W-O-O-D. Coming up on 22K there, Justin. What about you? Hi, I'm Justin R. Young on Twitter. Make sure you read weirdthings.com and subscribe to the Weird Things podcast on iTunes. Uh, <laughs> and uh, there we go. Coming up on... a. Uh, uh, on 4K on Twitter. I didn't mean to eat about you. Hey, look at that, everybody. My, my oh, yeah. And measure that, by the way. <laughs> That's a, what I meant, what oh, yeah, was, what I meant was uh, I'm excited because I'm about to turn a corner, and I think you should promote your Twitter now. Sure, yeah. Like, by the way, you're very small compared to me. Mm, okay. And by the way, what I meant was consider yourself banished. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you, Justin Robert Young. All right, guys, that is it. We will see you next Tuesday. Die in a fire. Die in a fire. Blurk. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>